Hi guys, we got big news from the Big River this week. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to share. I'm going to go over quickly some of the things we got going, which includes a whole big, huge stack of boxes full of glass, terrariums, and uh, enclosures for our reptile room. Probably going to take us a couple weeks to get those out of the backs and up and working, but as soon as we do, we'll be uh, live in the reptile room. So really close to big breakthroughs there. Also, I've got a huge order of decorative rock in, including a whole bunch of dragon stone and other types of cool decorative rock. Got in some backgrounds from Universal Rocks, These are the 3D backgrounds you've been hearing so much about. We got a couple in stock just to be able to look at them, doing a lot of them to be a special order. Super, super cool on those guys as well. Uh, along with the decorative rock, we got a huge amount of spider wood and other decorative wood, which is not in this corner, so you'll just have to come down and take a look at it. Big order of bettas this week, and so much going on, I can't cover it all, but lots and lots to see. Alrighty, let's get this unboxing going. We had a little misfire with our earpiece, so hopefully you'll be able to hear us this week. First thing up, we have Royal Butterfly Loaches. Royal Butterfly Loaches are a Hillstream loach that you have a separated disc. Kind of a cool critter. I like getting those when they're available, and so I did. We got a pretty good sized restock going on African cichlids this week, mostly the Mabuna types. Here's some pearl zebras uh, to that end, and also we have some cobalt zebras as well. Both Malawian cichlids are restock for those. We got a bunch of quarries on this week too. This is large tank raised sturdy quarries, maybe slightly more expensive than we've been getting them, but uh, nice size, nice bellies, and those look real good. I've uh, got a restock on rabbit snails because everybody should have rabbit snails. They are super cool and cone shaped guys. Here we have dwarf frogs, and most of those guys look like they did pretty good. Not quite as big as last week's dwarf frogs, but still pretty decent looking frogs. Uh, and then panda quarries, looking amazing as always. These are tank raised pandas, nice looking little fish. Uh, here we have some amano shrimp, decent sized amano shrimp. Gotta have those for your planted tank, and we have a ton of amano shrimp to share. We're always getting more. More Africans, these are eye biters, or the Dimeter Chromis compressus up. Say that five times fast. Compressus ups, of course, called the Mal Malawi eye biter with a really flat, skinny, long jaw. Here are hog nosed brooches, like giant quarries, and you know, every year they change their mind whether or not they're actually a quarry or the brooches are completely different. It's, uh, genus unto himself. But long and short, it's super cool, large, up to six inch or five inch quarry looking critters. Nice big fat ones there. Here's some more quarries. These are red sailfin quarries. Ran out of those last week. I get these whenever I can. I think I paid a little bit more for these than the last batch we had. Pretty decent size, really nice colors on those. Totally worth it. Here's another couple of boxes. First thing I forgot to mention that we got fancy bettas in this week. I'm not going to go through each one in this video. If I get a chance, I'll do a breakout. I remember when we get fancy bettas in, sometimes there's a bit of rush on those. So come check them out. We'll have them on the floor by the end of the day. Uh, next up is a puffer. This is a leopard puffer. Good size one. Not the biggest one we've ever gotten. But not the smallest either. The leopards, or they're calling the shout nice, uh, or pow shout nice, tetradon shout nice, whatever you want to call them. Not pow, that's the Asian ones. Tetradon is the Africans. Maybe I got that wrong. But anyway, the long short is super cool, hard to get freshwater puffer. Uh, these are neon tetras. Got a big bunch of neon tetras as a restock. Of course, tetras are on the special. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't, please take a second and do it. Uh, you get 25% off if you get four more tetras. Here is plecos, some L201 plecos. Those are the called a Colombian Z or a Colombian snowball pleco, or they're also called an Ornical Angel pleco. Got a few of those on this order. Here he is a restock on Boris Mikros. I got those last week. First time I'd seen them. They still had some on the their list, so I grabbed up a whole other batch. Super neat little Auroras, similar to the Chili Raspora. Uh, here's another one of those 201s or the Oracle Angels. And last one of those. Got three of them. Uh, rainbows. Here's a restock on Threadfin Rainbows. Haven't been able to get these in a few weeks. Nice size on these big males, mostly. Nice looking. Almost full size. Nice little uh, uh, nanofish, really. Here is some pretty good sized pandagaras. They have a little bit extra 
on them. Nice size, about twice the size of the last ones we had in. Very nice looking uh, log suckers. Uh, here's something I get in now and then. This is an elongate moth cat. Moth cats are like a nano catfish. They'll disappear in your nano tank. You'll think they're gone. And then lo and behold, here they are again, showing up like a little piece of twig. Got two different types. I got the Jordanies and I got these guys with these Jordanies. These are Hararis. Uh, I got the Jordanies on this one too. I think we're, we're calling the dwarf moth cats, or anger moth cats. I'm sure there's other names for them. Uh, rainbows. That's a continual restock on rainbows in general. These are some really nice colored on Bosmani rainbows. I've been looking for some bright colored Bosmanis and I have found them. Very nice looking fish. There's a better to go with that group. I'm not going to look at it for that one. Those two. Uh, let's see. And I will look at these guys. These are Copetochromus azurius. They're another Malawian African cichlid. Copetochromus is a pretty fun group. They got the Borellis in there. Usually they're pretty dimorphic, or not dimorphic. They start out silver, they turn like blue and black. Really pretty fish. Uh, here's more rainbows. These are emerald rainbows. See if we've got some nice males, and yeah, a couple nice big males in that group. Usually they send pairs. We've got a couple of females still over there. Here's a little arowana. Looks like he's missing some water, but he looks good. Right up here. That's where it goes. There you go. Get him warmed up and get him in a tank right away. Uh, here we have Dr. Chromus Trabasi. Got the Azurius and the Trabasi this week. Uh, they're pretty easy to get these guys mixed up when they're little purple little silver. But significantly do different when they get bigger. Very interesting. Uh, a little less common after it's in. Uh, Lanacara species Luanda. Got some small ones of these. Not that small in these guys. Decent size when they get bigger. Those are often pretty fish. Uh, and the last thing in this box is some flame dwarf gouramis. That's a restock on those guys. We got a big batch just last week. We flew out of here. So we got one. Uh, that's what we do. We get more fish and we can find them. We're almost halfway through this order. Let's get her going on here. What's in the box? It is, ooh, Histogramma cockatoides, or cockatoides. These are the cockatoo cichlid. See them, well, that way or that way. Bright red fins are the super red variety. You get the oranges, too. I've got these in in a while. These are just your regular garden variety marble angels. I've been doing local bread angels for the most part, which were a little higher than angels, but they get to you about the same price as we can get the regular round of mill ones. Blue Neon Guppies sold out of these this week. So the last one last night, I believe. So we got a restock on guppies, quite a few guppies on this order. Uh, tiger Gobies, this is another quintessential nano fish. They actually say they will not mess with shrimp even. You know, that's cool down in the sand substrate. More super cool bettas that I'm not going to look at. Uh, oh, bettas I am going to look at. These are uh, half moon candy female bettas. Bright oranges in there. Really pretty fish. Brought in quite a few females this week. Because I could. Here's some half moon Dumbo females. Bettas, of course. Go along with all those males we got. We can have another bag of females we see. Here is a restock on Rummy Nose Tetras. Of course, reminder, Rummy Nose Tetras are on the Tetra special by Laura Morgan. You might miss them off to mash the subscribe button to get that special. And a restock on Platys, Golden Leopard Platys. Super cool, a little bit of variation in the color, but a very, very pretty little Platy. Really well for us. Uh, Celestial Pearl Daniels came in large again. Still a little more expensive than some that we've gotten in the past, but worth the uh, Price differential, very nice looking fish. A good 25% bigger than we usually get them in nice full bellies, too. So, uh, thinking to get celestials is actually a good time to pick them up. Uh, health wise, uh, I don't think I've seen them look nicer. Here is a restock on rope fish. We actually have a few over there still, but they've been hard enough to get that. When they come on the list, I just grab them. So, if you want rope fish, get them. Uh, Pygmy Spotted Reservoir. It's the, or the three spot rasbora. That's another Boraris, uh, Boraris maculatus. 
again, nano fish. All of our nano fish here in our nano section is so a few things to get moved, but getting close to complete. Uh, armored biker, Electris del Hazi, I call it tourists if you like. Bicher, there's so many different ways to call those things, but I call them cool. That's the armored one. It's got the speckly spots on it. I uh, shouldn't have a bunch of these guys. This is uh, Blood Parrot. Nice, nice red on these guys. Very nice and sweet. Which is timely because we just ran out of them. Most of these in the box. Here's another Delahazy Biker. Blood Parrot, Parrot, Parrot. Last! Oh, yeah, here's those Anchor Moths I promised you. Dwarf Anchor Moth. Aristides Jordani. A super, super cool little nano catfish. Uh, if you like nanos, man, we got some cool nanos this week. All right, let's power through and see if we can get these last three boxes done. Got a little order coming tomorrow. Also, should have our feeders and stuff like that on it. Uh, we might hold the video until we get them both, or I might just publish them separate. Uh, these are bumblebee cats. I've gotten a couple different types of bumblebee cats recently. Got the orange ones last week or the week before. Got the Asian ones a couple weeks back. Very fun uh, catfish. Okay, more uh, African cichlids. These are the Pseudotrophius sacolophy snow white, or snow white sacolophy. Somebody's been asking for those, and they finally came available, so I grabbed them. And here's uh, the Mangano cichlid, another African cichlid we saw. Lots and lots to choose from. The hardest thing is deciding which of the hundreds of types that are possible to choose. We chose a lot of cool ones. Uh, Dada Splendid's Half Moon Female. Restock on these guys. Got another half a dozen of those guys for y'all. Uh, more Cardinal Tetras. Again on the, the Tetra Special. We'll go through Cardinals here like crazy. Here's another that I will not look at. The joke might be getting old to you guys, but it doesn't ever get old for me. I just keep telling the same joke over and over. Uh, Butterfly Hillstream Loach. This is the regular one with the full disc all the way around, not the one with the split disc that we showed you in the first box. And more quarries, Adolphi quarries. Kind of similar to a skunk quarry, I guess, but uh, super cool. Got the black uh, on the top of this. Here's a restock on clown loaches. Call them small, nice size on them. I have a little bit of trouble with them not taking the shipping all that well. Hopefully we do a better this batch. Check with this over the weekend, see how they did. Next we have oh, Singapore shrimp. They be kind of small, but they look pretty healthy. So there you go, bamboo shrimp or our filter feeding shrimp, of course. More bettas. These are crown tail female bettas. Lots and lots of female bettas this week. Four different color or fin type varieties to choose from. Here is a Borneo sucker. These little suckers are pretty fun. And they have the name sucker, so I kind of like that. So here's another armored biker got stuck in a different box. Right and more rainbows. A millennium rainbow. Stock on those guys, we're completely out. So, they sent us three pairs of Millennium Rainbows, four eight reds, some lots of sizes. Here's another type of angel. These are the gold marble angels. Gold marble angels, marble angels for restock this week. Uh, let's see. Oh, Abrosis, Dainty Cories. Dainty Cories have been in high demand and low supply. We managed to get you another big batch of them. Here's another African cichlid. This is uh, Phenotellus Tanzania, Star Sapphire. Get a little extra for these. Hopefully they do well because they're awful pretty. Uh, let's see what we got here. Lima Tridens or Tuberon. These are a live bear. The males get kind of orange in the fins and they get a little bit of bar pattern. I'm a big fan of those. Recommend those for anybody who's looking for an unusual type of live bear. Relatively easy. This is Aspidorus Galatus. Got a decent price on these. Aspidorus tend to be on the spendy side, like $15 a fish, but I think I got these so we can sell them for like $10 or $12. So. Uh, 
reason why we always look for those aspidors is because people always ask for quarries that don't get two inches, and they're a quarry relative, very closely related to the quarry, and they only get about an inch, inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. So, nice semi dwarf quarry for you. I'll pop this box down, we're going to grab this last box. Try to power through. See if Barry's arms are going to hold out. I don't mind her getting tired. There's big orders, so I got to order up 8, 10, 20 boxes of fish. It's like, whew, that's a lot of fish to hold up and talk about. I can talk faster than me. Uh, bumblebees, these are the Pseudotrophius crabo, which is another uh, uh, Lake Malawi and African cichlid to restock. I have another one, draft half. Venustus, they'll call them as well. That's another. Stock. Here is some more platies. These are a sunset platy, a little different color variety than what we've had. Always trying to bring in a little bit something different from our live bears. Siamese algae to restock. Those are a great guy for your bigger tank for taking out air algae. So you get your 40 or your 125 gallon planted tank. Those guys can work out really well. Wow, nice looking rainbows. These are Port Mosby's or uh, Parkinson's rainbows. Super, super cool looking. Right males in that group. Uh, black root barbs, gotta look like a tiger barb. They're not, they run a little tiny bit more than a tiger barb, but they get a bright, ruddy, red, beautiful color to them when they mature. The males do anyway. The females not so much. Uh, Yellowtail guppies, our guppy restock. I think our feeder orders got a couple of uh, guppy types too, so I'll put have some sure before it gets there. And here is some more quasi. Uh, nanofish, these are the harlequins, regular look. We got pork chops or narrow wedges last week, this week was just the, uh, just the regular harlequins. And that here is it for this corner. All right, we've got another little order I'm gonna add on here. Just bump down real quick. Mostly just feeders here, but a few guppies and a couple other oddball things. Uh, for sink up is shrimp. It should be black. King Kong pandas, and sure enough, I see some stripes that are mostly just black. Really tiny, but uh, super cool. Garibinia shrimp, very nice. Next up is more shrimp. What are these? Oh, mono shrimp. Tiny, tiny mono shrimp. Get a very tiny mono shrimp from them, but it, I keep getting them hoping they'll get bigger. Uh, these are ghost shrimp. As well. Remember if you want those for feeders, we do half price if you pre-order on them. Got a couple pounds of worms this week, which is better than no worms. We're still a little bit short on our total supply, less than we'd normally order, but it looks like it's starting to break up a little bit. We got a double order a couple weeks ago, and now we're getting worms every week instead of every other week. Hopefully that's a sign that things will get back to normal soon. Uh, next bag is guppies. Got a whole bunch of feeder guppies in here. We'll pull them all out. Uh, this is something I haven't had in ages. This is albino African dwarf frogs. You've not been able to get the gold frogs in probably two years. Uh, saw them, got them. That's the way it works. Uh, here's some uh, bloom bodied rams, or they're angel rams. They like the blue variety. Been able to get those, and they've been doing pretty good. So, if you're interested in those, we have those back in stock for you. Picked up some mystery snail colors this week. I picked up some golds because we were running low and I picked up some urines and I think I need some other snails too so let's see what we have here. This is, this looks like zebra neurites. We sold completely out of zebra neurites this week and now we have some more. Here are panda quarries. Doubled up on our panda quarries this week because we've been selling them like crazy. It's good that I did because I sold almost everything I got in yesterday already. Black Rams continue to be super, super popular. We sold out most of what we got last week. I got a piece of the tank and somebody's out of water there. But uh, last week we actually had some of them spawning in our tank, even at that small size. It was pretty cool to watch. Uh, and last thing out of this box, looks like I'm, no, I got some more. Second to last thing, these are uh, all red albino guppies. Super cool, a little more expensive than some of the other guppies, but very, very bad about those out of here the last time once we got them healthy enough to go home. So if you want those, get them quick. Um, here's some other snails. These are mystery snails also, but they're the balloon variety. 
pretty cool color on those. I'm not sick with this one. As promised, we did a little breakout session with just the bettas. We've tacked it on the end here. I hope you guys found it. Some awesome bettas to check out. I'll just play some music and uh, let you look.